Hey you guys, I am back from my vacation, feeling refreshed, renewed, restored, replenished, ready to go. And um, I'm going to get on here and pray with you guys, encourage your faith, um, make some decrees and declarations um, just to stand in agreement with you about whatever it is that the Lord has put on your heart to believe for, to stand for. You know, God has many, many promises in his word um, that we can stand on and believe and speak and declare and decree over our lives. And then there are specific things that he speaks to us. And we cannot give up. We cannot become weary and well-doing. I, I was just talking to the Glory Tribe about some other things that I really feel, I mean, if you guys have been with me for a minute, you have seen me marching through um, this room in the suite where my office is that the Lord had told me he was given to the ministry. Well, now I'm marching in this other room. I pointed to the door, if you guys have watched me long. I said, there's, there's an office here that people are in. Well, God has moved them out and given me this room, finally. And, and then we still have this other room where we actually, the Lord had me have them build a wall so this room over here is going to be uh, the new um like chapel in this room right here we're going to be in the next week or two we're going to be decorating it and putting our furniture in and everything but i started praying over this place in january the lord showed me this office in january I signed the lease for that office in February, and I started marching through that empty room in February. Let's see, we are now in September. So some of the things that God tells you and offers you and promises you, I mean, that's just months. Any of you guys been walking with the Lord, believing, standing for years for something? I know I stood 16 years waiting for my marriage promise to manifest. Lord, the Lord God has things for us that he puts into our heart and then we have to walk it out. We have to march it out. We have to pray it out. We have to speak it out. We have to keep standing, keep believing, keep decreeing, keep believing what God has placed on your heart, even if it seems like it's taken longer than you had imagined that it would, because it often does. And the Lord is working on us in the process. The Lord is is building our faith and building our character in the process. And so what he has promised you might come a little bit slower than you had imagined that it would. Hey, you guys, but it will come in God's time. If you do not uh, grow weary, give up, faint, you keep praying, keep fasting, keep standing. And I'm just going to pray for a while. I, I know you guys, if you've been watching me for long, have seen me marching over that room, believe in God. That Listen, this is still like in the ark phase. <laughs> God will have you build an ark before there is a drop of rain. If you are a person who is, is uh, surrendered your life to God, He is going to have you build things and believe things and prepare for things and, and believe it's like you see it. He's going to give you a mental picture of what it is that he wants. A vision. And sometimes in the midst of the warfare. In the midst of the waiting. In the midst of the pressing in. And praying and standing for something. You can become discouraged. Hey Ellie. Hey uh, um, Andy. So I'm just, I just want to pray for you. Because when that discouragement comes. And when it starts to sink in and set in. Or confusion. Or you start to feel despondency and like it's never going to happen and you're not seeing any movement. God is still at work. He is still at work. He is still moving and hovering and breathing over your situation as you pray. So let's just pray for a minute over the thing that God has put in your heart. Everything, every promise that he's put in your heart. Every word written in the scripture, every promise in the scripture is for all of us. And we can stand on these things. And we have to keep standing. And so I pray against despondency, despair, hopelessness, dread. That horrible feeling when you've been in a war for a while and you start to feel like, what if it's never going to happen? Or it's going to fall apart? Or the provision's not going to come? 
or I'm going to build this ark and it's not going to rain and, and, and I'm going to have waited on a husband all of these years and, and not had any fun with romance and these other relationships that you see people having that fall apart that aren't from the Lord and I'm just saving myself for nothing. I'm going to be an old maid. All these things that start coming at your head. I'm never going to have kids. I've tried twice, you know. I've had miscarriages. Like, whatever it is that that you have um, been waiting for a long time and the discouragement starts to set in. The Lord, it's a word. It is a word for His people. He wants to give you respite. He wants to minister to your emotions. He wants... He wants to minister to your emotions because you have got worn out. Sometimes you get worn out trying to figure it out. Worn out, worrying, leaning in on your own understanding. You know, you are looking to the left and to the right and you are seeing, I don't have what it takes. I don't have the provision. There's not. There's no people here. There's, you know, no man in sight, no woman in sight, no child in sight, no money in sight. <laughs> And, and uh, no progress, whatever it is that you're thinking, it's not moving, it's not ancient. You, you got to keep marching around those walls. You got to keep praying. You got to keep standing and ask the Lord for what it is that you need. And I feel like for many people, it is a time of respite, a time of rest to just set aside set aside say i'm i'm going to i'm going to come before you lord and i'm going to allow you to minister to my emotions i'm going to allow you just to to feed me heavenly food heavenly manna feed me what i need from heaven god give me what it is that i need to sustain me to keep me from to becoming faint and weary and giving up you know do not give up 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 there is risk involved with obeying god and we put our lives on the line and listen i was reading i think in second samuel about david and he was so thirsty and he was in battle and, and they were out in a cave and he hadn't had anything to drink. And he said, oh, what would I would give for a drink of water? And so some of his mighty warrior men, because the enemy had surrounded the water hole, so they didn't have access to the water. And that water is the, the spirit, the, the refreshment, the thing that you need, you feel like you've got to have. And his men went and they got water for him. They risked their lives to give get water for him. And they came back. And you know what he did with it? He poured it out. He poured it out. And he said, um, I'm going to pour this out like an offering to the Lord. Because I'm not going to give him something that isn't uh, worth something to me. Listen. When you are in that waiting, when you are going through the pain and you are going through the warfare and you're standing believing what God's promised to do through you and you know it's for his kingdom and you sacrifice the comfort of not holding on to the thing that God has promised you because there is a, you're engaging and, and birthing things and it costs you, it costs you, it costs you something. And it's a precious, precious outpouring to the Lord when you hold on to those things and you don't give up and just start living the lower life and saying, no, I'm not going to just give the Lord something that doesn't cost me anything. So I'm, as you're, as you're giving yourself over to the process to see the promise come to pass and what you're giving up and that you know, that fear, like I'm going to give all this up and just follow the Lord with my whole heart and believe him and work forward to the things that he's called me to. And, it, and, and <laughs> you know, you might be left for a season where you're in a valley and, and you're experiencing um, loneliness or you're experiencing um, just a stretching and, and, and that is a fragrant offering to the Lord. You can give that up to Him. You can give that up to Him as a fragrant offering. Because there are so many of His pe people, even His people, and certainly the people in the world, they, they, they don't go through that because they're not willing to go through that. Because they're not willing to be made a fool of or they're not willing to 
um, just have to give up the lower level things that it's required to move forward in faith and to keep holding on and to keep decreeing and declaring. You know, they just walk away from things and they just give up and they do what's easier. And they and and the Lord, you know, it is. A blessing to the Lord's heart when you keep believing and you keep walking and you and you keep going and you keep say, you know, God, I heard what you said to me and I'm going to stand in faith and I'm going to keep going and I'm going to go through this valley because even if I don't feel your presence with me, I know that you are here. And Lord, I ask you to bring what it is that I need when I need it. That I'm trusting you that I'm going to go through this valley and I'm going to come out on the other side stronger. I'm going to come out on the other side more apt and able to comfort those other people who are standing in faith and believing for the things that you've told them that seem impossible that they can't get anybody to agree with them about because the people around them aren't walking by faith. And so you being a person who walks by faith and not by sight... Is a blessing not just to God, but to the body, because it's it's a. Mo kora shana maki siara sandara baku shora sara sato kora shara baki kiara sandara baku sona maha yesate. Because the spirit of God, when the spirit of God is moving through a surrendered person, it's a fragrant offering being offered back up to the Lord. It's his kingdom is being birthed through you and 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 there is a dying that is going on within you as that happens and it is so worth it. I just want you guys to not give up and if you are coming through a time of intense spiritual warfare, I'm asking the Lord to open the heavens and to pour out to pour out ministering experiences, ministering angels, divine appointments, divine appointments, divine appointments, push to go to sometimes that, that thing that the Lord is wanting to release to you, you have to push through some spiritual resistance to get to that thing. And if the Lord is drawing you to somebody, if he's drawing you to a place, if he's drawing you to a church, if he's drawing you to a conference, if he's Whatever it is that he is drawing you to do, and it might even be something like to take a week off. It might be something like to, to you know, uh, get out of town for a weekend where he's wanting to minister your emotions. You think, I can't do that now. I've got too much going on. I'm already stressed. Like, whatever it is you got to... That God is telling you, I, I need to get this to you. I'm, I'm trying to minister to your emotions. I'm trying to give you what you need. Like, um, is it Elisha? I always get Elijah and Elisha's names mixed up. But the um, the prophet who, who defeated Jezebel and all, you know, had all this victory in the spirit and overcome all these things. Sometimes you're battling and you are so victorious. You have come through two, three years standing in faith, you know, casting back demons, uh, walking through the fire, doing all kinds of spiritual warfare victoriously because you're still standing in faith. You're still walking in obedience. You're still, if you fall, you jump back up. You keep walking forward. Elijah, thank you. And, and, and you have come through so much and you have come through this transition and you have defeated Jezebel. I mean, literally it might be a spirit that's come against you as a prophetic person through people or through through your just an attack on your mind and you overcome this and then you end up in this place of despondency feeling like you know dread or despair or just fear hit you really hard and it feels like it knocks you out and it knocks you on your back and you're like I can't the Lord knows when you're at that place and he will send mighty ministering angels and experiences or people or provision and feed you that heavenly food. And this is what we're asking for. You guys stand with me that all 78 of us that are on here right now, 79 including myself or however many's on, we're standing in faith not just for ourselves, but for the people who are going to watch this later on and in, in other um, social media outlets. We just stand in faith. We speak and declare 
the heavenly manna, the, and, and the angels are being released from heaven to bring the thing that's going to feed you, feed your emotion, feed your human self, that human self that, you know, we're, we're these spiritual beings and we're doing all this spiritual warfare and we're, we're moving through life as spiritual beings, but we also have a physical body and we also have a soul. And the Lord wants to minister to our body, minister to our soul. And He is sending forth, He is sending forth this weekend and this week and, through, and throughout the month of September, He is releasing those things into the lives of the people who are standing in faith, believing for that thing that is stretch them and stretch them to the breaking point and stretch them to the breaking point and then stretch them to the breaking point again. And you're still being faithful and you're still praying and you're still believing and you're still sowing and you're still speaking. And the Lord is wanting to release what it is that you need that's going to sustain you. That's going to sustain you in this next place of victory that he's bringing you to. Because he is going to feed others through you. The same heavenly manna. The same provision that he is pouring out on you. He is going to pour it through you. And you need to recharge and allow the Lord to recharge you for the next leg of the journey. And so let's just believe this. Lord, we receive from heaven... Every thing, every spiritual blessing, every spiritual and physical and financial and mental and emotional blessing, we receive every blessing that you are pouring out over us this month, Lord, that is recharging us, renewing us, restoring us. That is going to enable us to move forward into this devil portion, into the, the devil portion, into this next level of assignment, into the next level of responsibility, into the a next level of ministry, into the next level of um, e even ministry and within our family, within our jobs, within our ministry, within our uh, our personal relationship, Lord. God, we, we, we ask that you restore us. Bring the restoration to our souls and our emotion, our mind, our will, and our emotions, Lord. Minister to us. Send angels to minister to us and strengthen us. Even if you don't have another human being that God can speak to, and he, he will. He will speak to another human being to bless you. And I pray that God does speak to another human being to bless you. And that you also be that human being that he can speak to to bless others. Because if he can, re if he can rely on you to be a blesser, he will speak to other people. If one of the blessings that you need to restore your emotion needs to come from a person. So those seeds of being obedient to bless others where he tells you to so that when it's your turn when you need the when you need the blessing to your emotions to be ministered to and God will send angels he will send angels from heaven but he will also bless you through people he will bless you through circumstances he will bless you through dreams i pray your vision be your vision be made clearer that God would clarify the vision that, um, you know, there's been some disappointments. There's been some disappointments, and it might not look exactly... He, he might want to, uh, to, um, to breathe new life into your vision. He might want to breathe new life and, and transform your vision and make all it even more a heavenly vision than it was before. Before you had to stand and grow and move and stretch. And now you can even begin to see things and your ability to receive a grander vision, a greater vision, a more heavenly vision for what it is that you're standing for. That God's ideas would flow. That God's ideas would flow through you and to you. And that you would be able to discern and decipher the language that is coming from heaven 
and heavenly visions and dreams and inspiration and creative divine inspiration and that there would be a mega grace, a mega grace, a mega grace, a mega grace, a mega grace on each and every one of us for the relationships that God has ordained to be used in the progression of this new vision that he is giving us okay because it's expanding and it will include other people because God's working as a body he's working among us all to be unified and I mean even if it's your family vision and it's a vision for your marriage to be restored or your children to be restored or you know to come up into the the um the great holy spirit intimacy with you Even that vision can be expanded to include why he's wanting to do this in your family. Why is he even wanting to restore your marriage? Why is he even wanting to restore your kids? The Lord can expand the vision and breathe new life into the promise. And and I want you guys to get your hopes up. Put your hopes in God. Like, you know, the, the thing about time, if we're not careful... It can steal our enthusiasm for the future grace that's going to be there. Because God's grace is is there for us in the future. And His His mercy is there for us in the future. And His blessing is there for us in the future. And I truly believe that He is bringing us up into next level glory. Into next level commitment to Him. And next level sanctification. Into next level power. Into next level provision. Into next level intimacy. And into next level relationships and ministry. And, and, and that he is upgrading us and, and lifting us up. He's a God of higher, 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 higher. He's lifting, he's lifting us up. And through all these things and recognizing his goodness and, and going through all these things, Lord, we pray that in recognizing how much we are loved this month, as you pour out those things that will restore us in our soul that will renew us in our spirit and that will minister to our emotions how loved we are lord may we not even just revel in that and and relish that and to the point that we miss we miss the whole point is to see you and your glory and to see you glorified and to see you lifted up and to recognize how magnificent you are that you would create us and take pleasure in loving us and take pleasure in being explored by us and known by us and sought out by us and seeking us in return and just how great and magnificent that you enjoy your creation and you en- and you enjoy and you sacrifice to be with us And it is your great pleasure and your plan to lay everything out as you have to to call us to be people who walk by faith and not by sight and who have who have raised us up into into the heavenlies and seated us with Christ. And it's been your good pleasure to forgive us for our sins and to draw us to yourself and even to to see your son come and pay the price and take our place so that we could be with you. Your whole plan, the sovereignty of who you are and how you work everything out for our greatest good and your highest glory, Lord. We just worship you and we lift your name up and we want your name to be lifted up in the earth through our lives. Lord, we ask that you would glorify yourself through our trials, through our tribulation, that there would nothing be wasted, that we would come up into higher and higher and higher levels of faith, higher and higher, higher levels of holiness and separated outness from the world, Lord, that you would just draw us closer to yourself and that we would begin to see you more and more and more and more and and, and ourselves less. And that everything that you are taking us through and, and everything that you are pouring out over us and through us is all for your glory, Lord. And so we ask God that you glorify yourself through our lives and that we would, <clears throat> Jesus, 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 that in the waiting, because sometimes it is in the waiting where you really do, 
you do come to realize that you are leaning on things other than him, that you are relying on things other than him, that you are worshiping things other than him, that you are putting things before him. And so don't allow the weight to be wasted. (laughs) I love you guys. I hope this encouraged you. Share it. Tag somebody. (sighs) Jesus. Jesus, thank you for your angelic host going into the homes of people and bringing good gifts. And bringing good gifts and 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 bringing higher newer more um, purified vision of what you have for their relationships for their lives Lord God I pray that you would send forth the angels of um, abundant harvest that you would bring forth the harvest of righteousness in your people Jesus 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 may every plan and purpose of your heart be completed and be um made realized may you realize all of your thoughts for us and through us may they come to full fruition may we be fruitful fruitful united people that are led by your spirit that walk by faith and not by sight that speak and declare the promises of god that put the enemy under our feet and cast out devils and demons and every high and lofty thing that sets itself up against the true knowledge of who you are. And Lord, I, I pray that you would just rain down the blessing, the blessed, the blessing, the blessing. Lord, I thank you, God, that you have called us blessed and that our lives are blessed and that your hand of favor rests heavy on us and that, that, um, that mourning and dread and despair would be removed from us and that there would be a renewed joy, a renewed enthusiasm, a, a, a greater capacity for, for loving and receiving your love. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, I will see you guys on Sunday.